storm fighting and trust by cleaning your closet no i mean yes it's needed cleaning anyway but that was not the reason i'm doing it i'm doing it so i can have place to fight in prayers mom you're fighting god no my baby obviously i am fighting but not with god do you get I am praying for God to fight for me. I am praying for God to help me. You know, I am tired of fighting. I am tired of arguing. I need him to help me. I need him to, 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 to fight my battle for me. I want to win. We all want to win this battle. Am I making sense? No. <sighs> okay. As you can see, I am very tired. I needed to cut some sleep now. Okay, I see. You're very tired. Let me help you. Thank you. Oh God, help my parents to stop fighting, let them love each other, help them to start laughing and praying like Emily's mom and dad, also help them to love me, in Jesus name, Amen. Wait, I promise to be a good daughter. I promise not to disobey my parents. I promise not to insult my teacher, not even Auntie Mrs. Jane that I don't like. I won't tell her that she's smelling. Please, I won't even care about that. Just help my parents to stop fighting. In Jesus' name. Amen. Darius, yes. I know you are the reason my mom does not yell at my dad anymore and she spends more time with me. I am? No, God is. But I don't know how to put it. <laughs> okay, let's put it this way. Let's just say that God used me to touch your mother. Yes, that is it. Then it's God you should be thanking, not me. I thank him, but I just want to thank you for not refusing to open my mom's eye when God wanted to use it. How about that? Okay, that makes sense. But I'll tell you something. When God wants to use you, you don't have a choice. You have to do what God wants you to do. And that's all I've done. You see, whatever he asks of you would forever be good for you. Alright? 
That is what my mom always says. Oh, she does. Yes. It looks like your mom and I think alike, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> hey. That's she what your face is tossing that you look so serious. Huh. None of your business. This is special discussion between Valerie and I, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, Valerie, would you like something to drink? Yes. All right. You go into my kitchen. You open the fridge, not the freezer. For what? Really? Good. I've brought a lot of drinks. Take over. Thank you. You have an angel there, you know. <laughs> yeah, she is. You know, there are some days I wish she had a brother or a sister. But we were just so busy chasing our careers. I don't know if that is a wise thing to do. Is it that you're not enjoying your job? Yeah, I do at times. But I would rather have a good marriage than more money. Whatever you want, you ask of God in prayers. From your mouth to God's ears. Alright? Oh, did you get the drink? Yeah. Good. And what did you get? Wow, Fanta. <laughs> okay, why don't you look around my compound and tell me if it's a nice place. Mom. My baby. Yes, Mom. I saw your wall and I saw your prayer points. Mom, since you want to pray for our family, so I decided that I should pray for my mom and my dad. <laughs> and the pastor also said that God answers children's prayer. Yes, my dear. Even Jesus Christ loved little children's prayer. Like yours. That is the reason why I need to pray. <laughs> You're such a darling. Oh my God. I love I you. I love you too. <laughs> Let's go inside. What are you playing? Game. Game. You and game. The day you spoil this for me. You're actually influencing your daughter positively. And that makes everything good for us. You know, I have never felt like this before. When I started, I found it very difficult to pray for 10 minutes. But now, I enjoy myself. Sometimes I don't want to stop. <laughs> well, that is called the grace of God. In any condition you find yourself, oh, to God in prayer in any situation you find yourself oh go to God in prayer in any problems you find yourself
Welcome, Dad. How are you, Dad? Fine. Mm. So, how are your studies coming up? Going well. Mm. Yes. So well today. Yes. Welcome, baby. Um. How are you? I'm fine. I can see you're very tired. I was stuck in the traffic. And I'm also very hungry. Will this be enough for me? Sure. Go in and grab it back. Let me look out for something for you to eat. Thank you. has been going on around here. Some cleanup. Mm. I saw that the outside has been cleaned up. Yeah, Valeria and I, we did it. Mm. You know, it's not as if I didn't care or I don't want to do it. It's just that I got busy. No, I'm sorry. You're sorry? Yeah, I'm sorry. I know you're at work. <sighs> I'm sorry I didn't inform you before doing it. But Valeria and I, we did have fun doing it. I can kill for a total body massage mm. with my feet soaked in lukewarm water. <laughs> <laughs> Why I eat my favorite ice cream with cream on top, you know, and a popcorn by my side. Are you sure that's all you want? Yeah. Is it possible that I can get it right now? As in now, now? Yes. Must not. Okay. Do you want to pray before we eat? Sure. Let's pray together. Father, we thank you. Thank you, Lord. I bless you for this meal. I double checked, ma. We saw the same thing from his last trip. This guy is really, really stealing from this company. You are the manager, you have to call this in immediately. myself a glass of juice. I'll be right back. So what are you serving? What is this? This is wrong now. Oh yeah, start afresh. Keep solving. My eyes are on you. Keep solving. Mom, 
Where is your dad? The boss called him and he left. Did he tell you where he'll be coming back? No. Okay. okay. Keep solving. This is hard. I'm watching you keep doing it. Look at this one. Excuse me. Is everything all right? I'm not in the mood for that you're nagging now. Please. What is the problem? I just lost my job. Everything that I've got, yet they fired me. Everything is going to be all right. How? How can they fire me? I was their best rep. Come on, Tiki. No one is irreplaceable. Or do you think you are? Sure. I brought in more clients than both of you put together. So? Look, man. It's not your company. So you can be fired if you mess up. And you did mess up. You know? Please tell him. He, he acts as if he has forgotten why he was fired. Hmm? Come on, man. I thought you guys are my friends. <laughs> Let me tell you, he's lucky I wasn't in charge. Otherwise, he will go to jail for this. Look, guy, I know you have been jealous of him, but don't make it too obvious. Come on. Why should I empathize with him? Huh? Come on, guy. When he was enjoying his status as the golden guy, did he ever consider how we might feel? No. Oh. So let him just go. I know you. Batman, please get me some drinks. Drink.
this dream. I was the one hitting my wife. Am I about to hurt my wife? Valerie. Yes, Dad. Good morning, Dad. Good morning. Where's your mom? I've not seen her, but take a closet. Things are not in the closet. Mom took them out. I know we have been having some difficulties, but for her to leave the house without telling anyone, Valeria doesn't even know that her mother is gone. Wow, this is actually surprising. But have you in any way tried calling her on the phone or something? Yeah. You think she would pick? <laughs> well, you wouldn't know until you try. Why not call her? Hey! <sighs> Dan! Abigail! Longest time. Longest time indeed. It just disappeared from our lives. That's <laughs> not fair. <laughs> Come on, it's not like that. It's work. We've been working. How are you? I'm fine. Oh, you're welcome. Yeah. <laughs> Baby, I'm so sorry. I left early. You know, you were sleeping like a baby. I didn't have the heart to wake you up. I had to see a client. Sorry. It's okay. Thank God you're back. Thank you. And you, <laughs> you don't have to go anywhere. Sit right here. Let me prepare something for you and chicken it to it. <laughs> Abigail, I'm really very sorry, okay? I, I was actually on my way before you walked in. But don't worry, okay? I can always come around. It's my home. Are you sure? Of course. <laughs> it's okay. So how is Mirabel and the kids? Oh, they are very, very fine. Um, we're fighting for them to be happy. <laughs> Please, my regards to them. Thank you, Daddy. We hear that. All right, baby. Mm. See. Oh, whoa, whoa. <laughs> oh, my <Chicken>. God. <laughs> <laughs> uh. At this moment, I think I have to go. Uh, let me see your opinion. Okay. Well, thank you for always being it's there okay. for us. Come on, come on, come on, TK. It's my house, of course. Oh, wow. This is my place. Oh, thank you, my guy. Thank you for always being there. It's alright, right, man. What can I do? You're my family. It's okay. It's okay. You don't have to do it. It's alright. It's alright. Thank you. In any condition you find yourself, oh, go to God in prayer. In any situation you find yourself, oh, go to God in Valeria. Valeria. Yes, Dad. Come.
worried anymore. God is fighting for us. How do you mean that? Always pray for God to fight for us. And God always win. You don't need to worry or to be angry. God is in control. I don't know, dear, but I want to believe you. It's true, Dad. I was deceiving them and I was deceiving you. I was going out with Diana. I thought of cheating on you with her. I almost did. And you knew all this because I saw it in your phone and you are still here. <laughs> then your closet, I saw the way you have been praying for me. Why would you do that? When you knew the kind of man I had become. Because I'm not done with us. I will fight for our marriage. Chiki, I love you. I love Jesus. I will stay right here and fight with you. I 
I don't deserve this. I don't deserve you. I hurt you. I hurt you bad. It's okay, baby. I wanted you gone. Because I thought I could do it alone. And how wrong I was. Would you ever tell God to forgive me? Please, I need you to forgive me. I forgive you. I forgive you, my darling. I forgive you. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Hold on, hold on a minute. What? Did this happen now? <laughs> no, no, no. So what did he say? <laughs> Sweet Jesus. But I told you. I told you the good Lord would fight for you. <laughs> okay, we'll talk later. All right. <laughs> oh God. Awesome God. Awesome you are. That is why I always talk about you. Oh, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Always. Praise the Lord. Always. Praise the Lord. With all my heart. Praise the Lord with all my heart. Always, Alleluia, my Lord is good. Alleluia, my Lord is good. Alleluia. Good. Valeria. Yes, Dad. I need you to listen to me. I know I've not been a very good dad to you. And I've not been very loving to your mom either. You both deserve better from me. But you know what? What? I've asked God to help me. And I want to ask you to give me. Yes, Dad. I love you so much, Father. I love you too, Dad. In any condition you find yourself, oh, go to God in prayer. She did what? Please, I'll call you back. I'll call you back. How dare you pick my call? Why can't I pick your calls? Hmm? Are you not my husband? Oh, I see. It's because it was your girlfriend that was calling you. Ah! 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 Ah!
What's rubbish? Can we go back to our game? Yes. Right. Inside my yeah. You get the join us? No, 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 no. I would rather watch. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. Let's go. Okay. Okay. No, no, it's not your turn. It's, it's my turn. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Woo! I'm jealous. You know? <laughs> What are you doing here? Huh? You're asking me what I'm doing here, Chiki. Yes. I've been calling you and you've refused to pick my call. You didn't even call back. What did I do? You did not do anything, Diana. I was the person that was in the wrong. I shouldn't have encouraged you knowing that I'm married. Forgive me for stepping out, but I'm not that kind of person anymore. Now you want to leave. You want to dump me after everything, huh? But we only had a few drinks. Nothing more. Okay. Now let's see who your wife is going to be. My wife already knew about us and she forgave me. <laughs> your wife knew. You lied, Chike. Your wife will never believe you. That was my wife you knew. She's a different person now. And we are different people now. Because we have allowed Jesus to take over our lives. You should do the same. Give him a chance to come into your life and change your life for the better. Mm. Now let's see who your wife and her Jesus will believe. Chike, please. Stay out. 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 Young lady, who are you and why are you dragging the gate with my husband? Your husband, he didn't tell me that he's married. And he told me that he wanted to marry me. Now he wants to dump me after everything. Mm. Oh, you must be Diana. Yeah, do you know my name? Yes. My husband told me about you. And he told you that he has been sleeping with me. Hey. I didn't. Chike, please, tell the poor woman the truth. You did a mistake, right? Actually, my husband told me what transpired between both of you. And you know what? I believe him. He lied to you, and you believed him? Um, Diana. Oh. You see, Diana, my husband and I have given God the chance in our home. We've accepted Christ in our marriage. I will advise you do the same. He is the only Savior. He is the only savior. He is the only one who can save you. He is the best life ever. Give your life to Christ and you will never remain the same. If you don't mind, excuse me. Darling, can you come with me inside? I want to show you something. This one, you're this happy. What is it? God has won. What? Dad no longer yell at you anymore. He does not hate you. He loves you and he also loves me. He told me that. And guess what? I'm no longer going to live in Emily House again. My house is better. <laughs> My dear, that's what happens when you give God the control over your home. I will always give God control when I grow up. <laughs> oh, now you want to grow up? Yeah, 
When I grow up, I would like to be like you are now, not before. I guess I was terrible. Yeah, that was in the past. <laughs> punch you. I'm, I'm going to punch you. <laughs> so tell me, what are we going to eat for dinner today? Just stealing their money. You were stealing their product. This is too much. What are you going to do now? What do you want me to do? No. You did this. What are you going to do? Now I'm out of job. If we sell these, we can raise some money. If that is what you've decided to do, why are you hesitating then? Why are you sitting down here worrying over it? Because I know that's not the right thing to do. I'm a changed person now. But if I sell this, but if I return this, I might go to jail. Yet you can't keep it, because it's not yours. I know. Let's just believe in God. Let's trust in Him. He will take care of everything. Huh? Please pray for me. God will see us through in this. Yes, Ike. Um, thank you, sir. I appreciate the fact that you let me come here. Okay. I've come to return the things I took from this company and to apologize for taking them. Please. Yes. They are the samples I kept for myself. So you were stealing samples from the company and selling them? I mean, let me get this. This company gave you a high salary and commission. And you thank them by stealing from them. You know you'll be prosecuted for, for, for this. Joe. Sorry, sir. Chike, why will you bring this? back now. So, why will you bring this back now? I needed to confess to you, sir, and ask for your forgiveness. Forgiveness? How long have you been doing this? And how much did you make from it? Joe, hold on. It doesn't make sense for you to do this after your job has been terminated. I understand that, sir. But I needed to make things right with my God, my family, and with you. 
I'm ready to accept whatever decision you take. Including arrest? Whatever the consequence. Good. That makes it easier for us. So I call the security, sir. Hold on. Shike, do you stand by our ways? Yes, sir. Sure? Yes, sir. Okay. Um, just give me two days for me to take about this. Two days? For what, sir? Don't worry. You will hear from us in two days' time. All right, sir. Damn. Thank you very much, sir. just did the perfect thing. Let's hand everything to God. He will take care of everything. I could go to jail. You never can tell. Don't worry yourself, okay? Let's hand everything to God. Let's go inside. Let's go. Father Lord, forgive my father and don't let him go to jail. He's not a bad person. I'm sorry he took tears that are not his. He's sorry he did it. Forgive him but don't let him go to jail. He not play with me and my friend. He's a good daddy. He wouldn't have really said so. Father Lord, forgive him. I don't let him go to jail. For in Jesus' name, he may. Father Lord, I wanted to ask for a brother again. But I don't want to be selfish. Forgive my daddy. Then I'll ask for a brother again. That is better. In Jesus' name. Amen.
I know you were not expecting me. Um, I want to talk to you. Do you have a minute? Sure. Come on. <coughs> I'm Chike. I've been thinking about your visit. Probably for the past two days now. What you did was wrong, and I was disappointed. I'm sorry. We fired six men before, and life went on. Then you shoot back. I've not seen a man that did what you have done. Taking absolute responsibility of the wrongdoers irrespective of the consequences. 
I've been thinking, why? Why would he do that? The only answer was your sincerity to make things right. When that you regretted what you did. Okay. I've chosen to take you by our ways. I will not give you back your job. But I've decided not to prosecute. The best thing for you to do is to return the money you stole for the company. That's all. Yes, sir. We've already decided on that, sir. Okay. Um, if you can make an agreement as regards that, I think all of us will be good, if you don't mind. No, I don't mind. That is done. Okay. I will take my leave. So we come to the office and sign those papers. Yes, sir. Uh, let me see you up, sir. Okay. <clears throat> have been praying inside this house. Oh, yeah, this is a closet, a praying closet. Oh, no wonder. I felt it. I felt it. So, I will have the house. Really? Yeah. Wow. I will pay for it. Okay. Thank you. You are blessed. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. 
You must be Abigail. And you're James? Yeah. Val? Yes, sir. Okay, you're welcome. You're the city bank manager? Oh, yes, I am. Doris's son? Yes. Wow. Hey! Oh. My friends are here. Yeah, Mom. <laughs> Abigail. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. My lovely Valerie. How are you? Fine. All right, Mom. I have to go inside to pick up something. You are excused. Thank you. Thank you. Please sit down. <sighs> wow. So, how are we? I'm fine. You didn't tell me your son is the Citibank manager. Oh, James. <laughs> yes, he is. <sighs> anyway. I have good news for you. Ah, uh, wait, let me tell you what it is. You want to tell me that a minister of God has taken over my place? You see what I'm talking about? This is the kind of relationship I want with God. I want him speaking to me directly. I hear you. Well, for your information, your daughter sent me a text telling me that... A woman of God wants to take the place, and then she also told me you were on your way here. Ow! Don't be angry, Mom. I'm not testing anyone on my new phone. <laughs> well, you got her a phone. What do you expect? Okay, baby, go inside. Let James give you something to drink. Okay. Besides, they shouldn't get to get some. Yes. <laughs> And guess what? I love this smartphone. Yeah. I've been able to download some um, prayers, prayer apps, and uh, music apps, religious music. Mm -hmm. I'm enjoying it. Wow. Mm. That is nice. <laughs> Dude. So how have you been? Yeah. Mrs. Doris, I can't tell you how much our friendship means to me. <sighs> wow. <laughs> Same here, I promise you that. <sighs> well... I didn't realize how bad my situation was. I was tired of being sad, of doing the same thing over and over again. I needed someone to wake me up. You are God's gift to me. I am so happy that I found you. No. I am the lucky one. I am so glad I found you. Well, that's good. I can't imagine how much your prayers and passion would have meant to your husband. I wish I had met him. <sighs> you know, I wasn't the same kind of woman that I am now. Then it was different. You see, when my husband Luke died, we were not in good terms. His job relegated me to the background. I was so embittered. We quarreled each day, we were at each other's neck. We would never agree on anything. I was so angry. I, I, I didn't even listen. When God was trying to tell me to pray for him, when God was there trying to make me feel for him and be there for him. I, I didn't even listen. You know, you know what? And the scar is still there. Oh, I have no choice but to, to go to God in prayers. And he gave me the grace that I needed. But you know what? The scar never leaves you. It's a reminder of what you've been through. And then I promised God that if I'm able to come out of this, I will try and influence another person. Another person that, that is... Another person that was... Oh, another person that is like what I used to be. I promised I would teach the person how to pray, how to use prayers as a weapon to fight their battles. And then I promised God that 
I was going to help somebody that was in the same kind of situation I was in then. And then when I found you, I knew that I had to do something. And I'm glad I've been able to teach you the weapons that you need to fight your back. And I need you to promise me that you would also teach someone else, someone in your kind of situation, how to battle this evil, this evil that is devouring our marriages. Give them the weapons, tell them the weapons. Quote the Bible, tell them the passages, tell them to walk out in grace so we can win this battle against Satan and what he's doing in present day marriages. Would you do that for me? I promise you, by his grace. <laughs> <laughs> Baby. Yes. Have you noticed that your boobs are getting bigger? <laughs> You're pregnant. I was going to tell you later. Oh <laughs> my goodness. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What's going on here? Oh my dear, such a happy day. Oh my little princess. You're going to have a brother or a sister. <laughs> Brother. Well, that will be the Lord's choice. You will get what he decides. Then I have to pray harder. Because he always answers my prayers. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, yes. <gasps> Hello? Yes, sir. I'll be there first thing Monday morning. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Who was that? Oh, my God. Global update. I'll be starting work there first thing Monday morning. <coughs> this God is embarrassing me with blessings. Oh my God, this, this is God. what God. 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 On Sunday morning, I will testify and also render my special number. Oh, that will be great. That will be great. That will be great. All the children, my God, be bless you. Goodness and mercy shall follow you every day. Jesus.